What is up YouTube, Noel here back at it again with another video. So as you might have guessed from the thumbnail or even the title of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys these, the first Reeboks that I've ever owned. So first things first, these are called the Reebok Club C85s. That's a pretty long name to be honest, but initially when they came out in 1985, they were actually called the Reebok Revenge Plus. I guess Club C85 would be an appropriate name for a company that's um, wanting to have a cleaner image overall but you gotta admit the older name, the revenge part sounds way cooler than Club C85's. So history lesson aside, let's just get on with the shoe. As I mentioned before, these did originally came out in 1985 and these were designed as a tennis shoe. Um, yeah, the, the shape is reminiscent of a pair of Stan Smiths and most types of tennis shoes that came out in that era. And honestly, most of them look pretty cool and pretty clean, especially with an all-white colorway with just, for example, the Adidas Stan Smiths, they have that green accent. And these do, the OG colorways of these do feature that green accent and I think navy blue accent as well and, and those honestly look really great and really clean. For these pairs, it's not as clean as the OG colorways because this is part of the alter the icon spec. Reebok actually put the pack name into the insole. I guess I'm gonna put some B-roll into this so you can have a closer look. But again, because they are part of the pack, Reebok tried to actually differentiate these um, compared to the OG colorways. Personally, I do like the design or the cleanness of the OG colorways because these do look a bit out there to be honest especially with that pink um, accents that they have and also the Reebok branding right here um, they only put that vector logo on there uh, as per usual I think this would actually look cleaner again because these originally came out in 1985 they do have somewhat of a traditional or a classic build to them. It is made out of leather and the leather is overlaid on top of each other to give it that type of support that a tennis player needs when they need to move around and play tennis I guess. And I'm not gonna be talking too much about performance because this is going to be a casual shoe at the end of the day. From personal experience, I don't really see too many Reeboks come into retail stores or sports stores near me. Um, I guess it's just because Reeboks aren't really as popular as they are um, from where I am but when you do see them most of the time they don't really look that good because some of the models that do come here or are sold here don't look as good as these. To be honest I was actually surprised when I first saw these because it had that concept sample phrase um, printed on it and I actually thought that these were actually samples. From my research and from digging here and there, these are actually part of that also the icon pack because most of the shoes that are part of the pack actually have that concept sample phrase printed on them actually. Hey guys, Noel from the future here. I just had a realization when I'm currently editing the clip or the video itself that the Alter the Icon pack is actually just Reebok literally telling us that they have altered something on their most iconic shoes. So I guess that phrase, the concept sample is them telling us that this might have been a possibility or this design of the shoe was a possibility for them using if they haven't gone the other way. So I'm really happy with that realization and it makes much more sense now that I'm thinking about it. So yeah, back to the video. Thanks. So getting back to the shoe, as I mentioned it's constructed mainly out of leather. The leather isn't really that soft but because it is leather it will break in over time and become much softer than this. The heel actually features this suede material with the Reebok logo embossed on it. The tongue is actually made out of a fabric material and it's fairly thin to be honest. Reebok did stitch this leather patch on there with the Reebok um, logo and vector logo on it but to be honest the stitching isn't that great because you can see some inconsistencies in it. Though if you're someone like me and don't really care too much about 
what people think you're wearing it's not a big issue at the end of the day people aren't going to take your shoe off and actually inspect it um, the rest of the shoe um, the liner is made out of a fabric material the heel liner is padded a little bit so it is quite comfortable um, the cushion I guess it's made out of EVA or even Phylon and it's encapsulated in that cup sole what I mean by cup sole is actually the whole rubber outsole actually goes up and encapsulates the foam that these do feature honestly the cup sole is a bit stiff when you first try them on and for the first few one or two wears I guess you actually need to break this in or actually need to get used to how these feel when you do walk around in these speaking of the outsole they do feature a gum rubber outsole with that diamond pattern on it and a small pivot point right here because again this used to be a performance tennis shoe and honestly I'm not really sure if it's gum rubber or it's or if it's just painted on it but at the end of the day I am just gonna be wearing these for casual use from my personal experience wearing them I'd say these are pretty comfortable um, I didn't experience any type of soreness from my time I'm putting my feet in them the stiffness didn't bother me too much after I got used to them I haven't worn them um, too much that the leather has softened up but I believe they will at the end of the day and I guess they would conform to my feet and lastly for the fit or the size that I went um, I had to go half a size up because I usually prefer um, a more looser fit when it comes to casual shoes overall and these do fit comfortably on my feet because at the end of the day I honestly really like them so that's it for the video guys if you have any questions regarding the Reebok Club C85s don't hesitate to just leave a comment down below I'll try my best to answer them all and don't forget to subscribe if you like this type of content I will be featuring more sneakers like this more videos like this and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, that's it for the video guys. See you all in the next one. Bye.